Hey, what's up guys? This is Shanti and you're watching me on my YouTube channel, The Leavy. If you're watching me in this video for the first time, hi, hello, my name is Shanti, I'm from Singapore. I upload new content on my YouTube channel over here every Tuesdays and Fridays at 6pm local Singapore time. If you like what you see, then please do consider subscribing. All that will be needed from you is to hit the subscribe button right down this video and there will be a bell icon next to it. Make sure to click on it as well. Whenever new video uploads and information are going up on my channel, you will be notified ASAP. In today's video, I just want to sit down here and have a quick chit chat with you guys and it's the June holidays and it's really been hard having a kid around you all day long. There's very little time for myself but I always try to make some time by playing with makeup and making YouTube videos. I just wanted to come down here and share a few of my tips. I want to share three tips to staying motivated to make content on YouTube. I understand that 2018 has not been a really great year for a lot of us. Channels of similar sizes like myself have also have not been really motivated to continue with the content creation on YouTube. And yeah, let's jump right in. Tip number one is very crucial because I do get a lot of inquiries on the daily asking me how to become a YouTuber, how do I work with brands, how do I get clients, how do I do this, how do I do that, how do I get equipment, how do I get light, how do I get camera. The first thing is you have to really find out, sit down and take your time and really find out if being on YouTube is really what you do. Because if you are not really 100% sure about being on YouTube, then the chances of your continuity of making regular content for your viewers will also be very much questionable. The only reason why I'm able to make content regularly, I have been trying my best to keep up with my two uploads every week and have been really, really working really hard to making sure that I have two videos, I make sure that I have a X amount of videos that goes up every month. The only reason why I'm able to do this is because I really love making content on YouTube. And I really love how much of my viewers have turned into my family members and much more than you think that they rely on me, I rely on them for a lot of encouragement and support during this troubled year in 2018 for content creators. At the bottom of my heart, if I don't have it, I would not have been able to keep up with the regular content that has been going up on my channel. So don't just jump onto YouTube, just don't think about what you see there are a lot more things that we have to do behind the scenes. There's a lot of planning, there's a lot of scheduling, there's a lot of shoots, there's a lot of back and forth with clients, you have to meet with clients, you have to pitch to new clients, you have to find new clients and there's a lot of things that really goes behind the scenes and if you are 100% sure that YouTube or any other platform of content creation is what you're interested in, then make sure that you sit down and plan out your time, your money and other valuable resources that will be going into making sure that you stay reliably in the long run if that makes any sense. This video might contain a lot of words and may be boring for some of you guys but I'll try to input a lot of information and flyaways and cutaways just so that you have a proper understanding of what it is like. A lot of questions about how I get clients. You have to earn the right to ask or earn the right to earn. What I mean to say is that it's not like uh, you want to have clients, you want to make money from making YouTube videos, you have a blog perhaps, I have a blog also. If you have not known already, I'll put a link to my blog post over here and you can also find it in the info bar below. You can't possibly just open a YouTube channel today and upload a video tomorrow and start pitching to your clients say that you have a YouTube channel and up to date you have only one video. That way you're not going to be doing anything at all and nothing much productively will be coming towards you. You have to earn the right. You have to be putting up a lot of content already just because the client needs to see you as someone who's doing it from the bottom of their hearts. You're putting a lot of hard work and passion. You're putting your heart into it. If you're able to make the client see that you're passionate about what you're doing, then chances are they might be wanting to engage with you. But you have to earn the right to earn. You must be able to tell them, pitch to them confidently that you have an X amount of uh, videos that you've been uploading, you've been consistently been doing it for X amount of years, you have consistent amount of videos up to date, you have X amount of following. Of course, the bigger the following, the better your chances are. So bear that in mind. The third 
and the last tip I'm going to be sharing with you is that it is just not a one-stop process. Let's say for example, you earn X amount of money. You don't just take the money and then you keep it in your bank. Those may go into your tech equipment, like your lighting equipment, your camera equipment. You have to keep upgrading yourself. You are your best investment plan. Perhaps you need to take up online courses. If you have noticed and you get feedback from your clients saying that you look a little bit nervous or you're a little bit more on the goofier side, which is not your preferred type of video personality, then you have to take up online courses. Courses. You have to do a lot of reading, you gotta do a lot of research, you have to just keep getting better at it. And that's why I am leading back to the tip number one is if you are really really truly interested in being on YouTube or any other video platform that is available to us right now, make sure to sit down and dig deep down inside if there's a lot of work that goes behind the scenes. But I don't hear a lot of people talking about this as a content creator so that's why one of the reasons why I wanted to share this with you guys. If you really want to do it, make sure you do some research or take up some course some skills future course maybe whatever that's available do a lot of research make sure that you are really going to put an x amount of time and money and whatever that well maybe you have to sacrifice a few hours of sleeps on the daily guess who has been not having enough sleep so you have to consider all of that if you want to be doing really well and be consistent on YouTube. And this sums up how I stay motivated on YouTube. And if you like watching this video, then give this video a big thumbs up. And if you like to see more videos like this, leave me your comments. And if you're not subscribed already, please do so. All that will be needed from you is to click on the subscribe button right down here. There will be a bell next to it. Make sure to click on it as well. And I shall catch you in my next video. Bye guys!